Josh Hennick here at 97.3 ESPN. Women's MMA pioneer Sarah Kaufman here. Sarah, you're about 24 hours removed from the news that you wouldn't get a chance to actually fight tonight. Kind of talk about what's going on through your mind right now. Kind of now you're a little more separated from everything that happened yesterday. Yeah, I mean, literally right this minute is when I would be fighting uh, if I was fighting tonight. So it's uh, one of those things where it's really weird to be in the situation where I feel like I've done all the preparation and that I have that angst to be fighting, but I also am quite calm and settled in the fact that because of what happened, I got my points, I'm guaranteed a playoff spot, uh, and I'm guaranteed a position to set myself up for that million dollars. And so because I've had that end goal, it's unwavering, that's what I want. Um, you know, I, I'm actually mentally a little bit more settled than I would have been otherwise uh, had the situation come up without a, another fight on October 11th. And this is now, you're potentially going to conquer your fourth organization now. You've won belts in three other organizations. You know, talk about the, you know, the process of your career as you've gone through everything and you know, what it would mean for you to win the PFL belt at the end. Well, the fact that the PFL is doing something different than other organizations made me so excited to be part of it. As I got into the PFL and learned and, and got more knowledgeable about what the system was, what the format was, how the points work, how the structure works, I've been more and more excited every time I've learned something else. And, you know, even tonight, as the fights have gone on, the points matter. And so it's so crazy, the turn of events, who you thought might have been in the top four or top eight, you know, that could be totally different based on a first round finish or, you know, an early stoppage or whatever. So it's just been so great to be part of the PFL and, and, and have an organization that is willing to put a million dollars on the line for six different weight classes. Uh, you know, one female, five male, we're all getting paid the same. It's, it's a really positive step forward in the sport. And so to be able to win that title for an organization that cares that much about equality for fighters, value their fighters, value professionalism, I, I mean, you couldn't ask for more, and I'll be very proud to be the PFL 155-pound champion. And you mentioned on Twitter about the fact that how happy you were, how PFL is taking care of you. And we've seen many times in the past that, let's be realistic, there are MMA organizations that don't take care of their fighters. They don't give a darn about the fighter's health or things like that. So can you touch on a little more for people listening about what that means to you as a fighter that the PFL is taking care of you as they are? In the past, I've never heard of any organization who rewards the professional fighter who made weight by giving them their show and their win money saying, look, you did your job. You did what you were supposed to, to earn what you were supposed to earn. Uh, and, and actually not punish the other person, but in other organizations or other promotions, it's possible that if you don't take the fight, you only get half your pay. Uh, and so you're put in a bad position where someone else didn't do their job, but you're put on the spot because it affects your career. And so the fact that the PFL has gone above and beyond to make sure that fighter safety, uh, you know, fighter value is so high in all aspects. Uh, it's really awesome. Sarah, one more for you. I appreciate you taking the time tonight. Women's MMA has come a long way, not just over the years, but in the last few years. You know, just kind of give a little perspective on, in your mind, in your eyes of everything. Where is women's MMA today and how well is it and how healthy is it? I think that MMA in general is at a super healthy state. I mean, there there are so many organizations, there are so many fighters who are able to, at this point, start, you know, making a living and making careers out of being fighters. Uh, and 10 years ago, eight years ago, you wouldn't have seen that. And, and for me, the PFL has given me the opportunity to, you know, again, have a million dollar, dollar contract. And that's something that in 13 years of fighting, I've never been been privy to up to this point and uh it's, it's just the scene is great the the espn deal is huge uh espn being on board has really opened up the eyes of public fans to see every sport and mma all included on a similar platform and it's a really positive thing sarah thank you so much for your time thank you